Well, hello, friends and neighbors. Happy Robbie Burns Day. This uh, isn't really a review, but it is a moment to uh, to wish you well on this weekend and hope that uh, you're celebrating the Bard and all things Scottish this weekend. So I will talk to you about uh, a scotch just to frame our conversation, but know that this is really a neck pour and not a review. I hope to come back to the bottle later. Um, today, I really want to talk to you about Deanston 12. Now, anyone in the whiskey community is going to right away say, hey, that's Ralphie's whiskey of 2020. And indeed it is. Thank you, Ralphie. Um, I have not had Deanston 12. I have to say, I really have only had for Deanston that non-age statement virgin oak, which I love and find a fantastic value. I just think there's so much flavor going on in that non-age stamp. Deanston, uh, that I was happy to grab the 12 when Ralphie uh, recommended it. And as I said, it's a neck pour. This is not a review. But uh, one of the great things, and uh, and I will say, oh, did I even say who I am? John, your whiskey neighbor here. Thanks for joining me. Um, that uh, I was just at a local liquor store and a young fellow there, nice fellow, uh, and a lady, uh, both of them very helpful, but right away, um, are speaking without specific knowledge. And uh, I would just like to be part of the voice that is trying to share a, a passion for whiskey, Scotch, bourbon, Canadian, Japanese, Irish. Um, and also part of that voice is education. And I'm not very well equipped to talk about the instant right now. But what I want to highlight is one of the reasons why I think Ralphie has picked it as the whiskey for this year. And why I liked even the non-age stem is they give you some information right on it. I mean, of course, you know, they talk about where it's from, you know, uh, and they do definitely talk about that they're aged in X bourbon cast. This one has an age stamp, says 12 years. Now it also says unchill filtered. I had a bit of a discussion because he was talking about some other scotch that are going to be sampling tonight in, in uh, celebration of Robbie Burns uh, day or weekend. Um, and and uh, we had a bit of a disagreement over whether scotch is colored. And uh, I, I basically tried to impress upon the, the team there in the store that, you know, if it doesn't celebrate that it's unchill filtered or uncolored, and I really, uh, from Ralphie, I understand this is uncolored, uh, but I thought that um, it would say it on here. And I'd really just tried to stress that, you know, if it really doesn't tell us that information on here, then it has to be suspect and you have to dig around. And, and I'll just say to the young guy, the whiskey, the scotch that we were talking about, definitely dug around. It wasn't too long or too hard to find out that even though it was aged in a cognac cask, an ex-cognac, which would give it lots of that deep dark color, indeed the distillery chose to color that scotch. I believe this is uncolored. I know it's natural till filtered. It's released at 46.3%. Uh, one of the reasons why I think a lot of us enjoy Deanston, now I haven't had a lot of it, is that it's that very natural, to give good information. Uh, and we'll see what I get off of it. So, uh, you know, cheers to Robbie Burns Day, Slancha to Ralphie and all the fans out there. I mean, <laughs> sorry, I hope Ralphie you see the show, but I just meant to the fans of the channel, the people that tune in, thank you. And I was specifically giving a cheers to Ralphie in recommending uh, this uh, scotch. You know, uh, this is first thoughts. First thoughts of this, quite lemony. Uh, you know, fruits are very high and uh, and sweet. I'm not overly sweetness, but I mean is, uh, you know, the, the fruits are yellows. Yeah. Nice nose. Now I'm outside. Um, so, ah, but almost a clean nose, like a good, good clean scotch with that little bit of caramel or toffee on the, but just on the edge, I'm getting a lot more of that lemon. Hmm. A little bit of sugar. Sorry. Cheers. Mm. Nice. I took that sip a little too quick, um, but it definitely now has more caramels. The uh, citrus note in the nose to me actually fades in the palate. Fruits are muted and gentle, um, more like a space side fruit. So that's kind of light orchard. 
but from nose through the taste. Mm. And then encouraging the finish. The finish actually has got some good oak in it. Um, I, I definitely enjoy this. Is it blowing me away? It's giving me reason to think. And one thing I've heard certainly from Ralphie and others is that this bottle will open up and get better. So as I said, not really a review, just really a, a cheers and a hope you have a reason to pause uh, with friends, family, or, you know, uh, just pour yourself a good scotch and uh, think about the good things that Scotland have brought us. Yeah. Thanks for joining me. You guys take care. Thank you.